from Horizon Science Academy in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm going to teach you guys how to do the robot. And I'm Jacob Rafferty, and I'll also be teaching you how to do the robot. Okay. Jacob. Um, a robot is, is, a, is a mechanical thing that, um, that does human tasks that um, are... That like just like that moves like a human and does performs human tasks. They can be like all of them, they can be programmed. Most robots are programmable, or they are, or they can be autonomous. And um, usually, robots perform tasks that are repetitive and dull, and are usually too dangerous for humans to perform. Hydraulic. Hydraulic, as you see here, will be the syringes. Syringes are the hydraulic. Once you push from here from the controller, you push it in, and the force acts through the water up to the front and pushes it back out. And that works the hands. As you can see, I can clap. There's an equal force, equal amount of force going to everything, and that's how you can make the hydraulics move. And, uh, all right, an axis is like a place where the, a body part or object like moves at. Like on the, like here, the axis one is where the arm rotates side to side like that. And then axis two is where this green one here is where it bends at this point here, the axis two. And then axis three is where that gripper is connected to the forearm here. This is the forearm. Uh, and um, this part of the forearm. And it bends it up and down like that, the hand. And then um, this red one here, the axis where the grippers are moving. Open and close. Okay, now we're gonna, moving on to levy. Levy, there's, there's a three class levy in here, and there's at least four levies on this robot. <coughs> levies, the main point of it is a fulcrum. The fulcrum is a moving point of the robot. As you can see, there's a lot of moving parts. You got this that adjust as you move this around. A T rod, the third class levy, each levy has four axes of motion. The force is applied anywhere between the fulcrum and the load, the level will move. So the, the load will be the water going through. And that's how you do it. And that's how you And now we're about to demonstrate how to use a T-Bop. T-Bop 2. T-Bop 2. You can get this, you can, get, you can buy a kit, and you'll be able to buy one of these. You can set it up at your house. You have to move around until you get in the right position. And then with the final squeeze, you got it. Now you just move it up front. Like you move it. Now you push. And then one final, you pull this out and it just drops. And that is how you move the C-Bot. And my name is Chris Richard. Thanks for watching. I'm here from Horizon Science Academy in Cleveland, Ohio.